guys, welcome back. And this is a video with my dad, and he's showing you how to put the 10 thing on a Super 73. The 10 thing? What is it called? <laughs> it's a 10 speed. Hello, Super 73 friends. Hope you are all doing well. Um, as promised, I'm making a video today, which is going to go through um, less of the install of the 10 speed. Um, kit, do-it-yourself version, non-Super 73 version, and uh, we'll also have kind of a comprehensive parts list that will be attached to this video as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the setup. Um, I'm not going to go through with the actual install mechanics of this. There is a Super 73 video for the Super 73 kit that uh, I followed when I put this together, and it's, 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 it's mostly the same. Um, and also, if you're mechanically inclined, I'd say go for it. Uh, you know how to work on bikes? Install the kit. If not, just buy the, the parts and take it to your local bike shop and have them throw it on. Uh, shouldn't take them too long. This total install took me about, um, I don't know, hour and a half. So let's start talking, first of all, about the bottom bracket. Um, in the Super 73 kit, there's this convoluted spacer washer configuration requirement to basically take and shift this entire chain ring and uh, bottom bracket this direction, um, somewhere between three to four millimeters. Uh, I by bypassed that with some advice from folks here on the Super 73 mod group. Um, if you take a look at the chain ring, the chain ring in its stock form rides on the inside of the spider gear here. All you have to do is take that chain ring, move it to the outside and mount it on the outside of the spider gear and the spider gear is slotted so it actually fits and you know it's not a it's not a bad hack or anything like that but it really eliminates the need to mess with the bottom bracket um this is what i did here and it uh it's working great now another thing too is these bolts make sure when you order the bolts that you get single width um the ones come stock with the bike are double width they're typically used in setups where there's multiple um, chain rings with a front derailleur configuration. Um, this is kind of ghetto, but um, to get through, past this, I ordered some new bolts, but I had to uh, I had to basically put the stock bash guard, if you can see that, uh, in place just to make up for the spacing on the bolts. Anyways, I have a new uh, chain ring on order, as well as um, those single width bolts that I'm going to be replacing this with. And this chain ring that I got off Amazon, it was the recommended item. Supply chain issues, there's not much available right now, but uh, this configuration looks like it's actually set up for uh, front derailleur configuration, which we don't have here. Um, moving to the back. Again, setup is pretty straightforward. If you take a look at our alignment here, it's pretty tight. We got a lot of spacing with the tire by flipping that chain ring up front. I did put two one millimeter uh, cassette spacers to bring the cassette out uh, for that clearance of the tire, and that worked out quite well. And here's our Z derailleur. Let me get the sun in there. And then our cables are routed per that Super 73 instruction video. Now one area where I varied from the video, Super 73's video, was the configuration and placement of the actual shifter. So I am going throttle, brake lever, and then the Z shifter. Yeah, I think the components that are in Super 73 kit, I'm pretty sure they're Dior. Um, I'm not sure if the casing is different, but I tried to do it uh, per that configuration, didn't work out, but this works well. Everything's got perfect clearance, throttle, nothing's hidden, works quite nice. So that's my recommendation with that. All right, let's take a look at the parts. I set up a little table over here for you guys. Again, if you're mechanically inclined, go for it. Buy some of that stuff. If not, just take it to your bike shop. We have the cassette sprocket. That's the HCS HG50-10. All Shimano, by the way. The Z shifter, which is the SLM640. The Z derailleur, which is the R... D M640. Two chains. Now you're gonna need two chains with this configuration. There's no way of saving the uh, the stock one. But the are these are the CN HG 54s. And those are 10 speed chains. These chains come with that little um, uh, metal stud, and not a missing link, but an actual stud that you use the chain breaker to push through and then break off the back of it with a pair of pliers. 
works pretty good. I didn't have any issues with it. We have the BCD crank. Uh, this is the one that was on the bike. Um, it says it's from SRAM. Uh, but I'm gonna, again, I ordered a different chain ring. So this one is going back, um, but there's just not too many available right now. This works just fine, but uh, it's kind of ugly, funky looking on the bike. So we're gonna swap that guy out. Just make sure it's for a single front chain ring, um, you know, kind of like fixie style, if you will. Uh, no derailleur, and then you won't get any extra funky mounting points on there like I have. Moving on to the tools. We have a chain whip. Oh, let's back up a little bit. This is the one millimeter spacer uh, for the cassette. I used two of these, two of them, to get the right distance. And I'll put the link for that up in the uh, video as well, bottom of the video. Um, chain whip, I'm sorry, cassette whip. I don't know why people have so much issue operating these um, online. I've seen people take mallets and hammers to their cassettes and get them off. It just doesn't, you don't need to. Mine came right off with just a little bit of pressure. Um, so again, this is used to remove the cassette, cassette removal tool. This bolt right here fits into the cassette retainer bolt, which then, you know, you just stick a wrench around it and unscrew it and it comes off. A uh, pair of um, cable cutters. So these will actually cut the housing of the cable as well as the inner cable as well for the shifter. Pedal wrench. I bought this um, at the store. I didn't have one. I wanted to kind of have one in my uh, arsenal, but this is a uh, missing link removal tool. Now, again, this chain doesn't use a missing link, but if you want to use a missing link, knock yourself out. Otherwise, you don't need these. This is a great park tool wrench. It has all of the six, four, five, and six millimeter sizes on it. Handy, one spot, chain breaker. And then this guy, I forgot what it was called, but he's basically, um, this tool will um, apply pressure and put tension on the shifter cable. Um, so when you mount it to the actual derailleur, uh, you have the right amount of tension on it. Now, these are the parts that came off the bike. Some of the cheapest junk I think I've seen in a while. Um, this is what the, the cassette retention bolt looks like. These are some spacers, funky spacers, super cheap metal that were used. And of course the old derailleur, throw them up on eBay, throw them in the garbage, whatever you're going to do, have at it. So again, if you're technically inclined, go for it. If not, check out the parts down below and um, you know, your bike, local bike shop will be able to pull it off. And if you want to learn some stuff too, I'd say go for it, watch some YouTube videos. And this is what you'll end up with. I like it. Changes the bike a lot. Can't wait for that torque update. Thanks everybody for all the help. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Hope you do this and like and subscribe. That's everything. Bye.